boy, drama boy, aka D Boy Fresh, and you're watching me right here on Views TV, my massage. <laughs> Coming from a classical background, I grew up with my father who played clarinet. So growing up in the orchestra, I was basically raised from like rehearsals, operas, nutcracker performances, and watching my dad perform over and over again. Understanding sound, understanding instruments and being able to identify with different instruments and they gave me all these toys to play with so I wouldn't get in trouble or piss them off. Back in high school, they used to call me the cafeteria king. I was always like beating on the tables. Cats would start freestyling. Everybody was like, man, your beat patterns, your beat patterns, man, your patterns. I'm gonna call you drama boy. And I started making bass tapes and beats and whatnot. That's a producer as Drummer Boy always was interested in different ways to generate a sound. Front drumsticks, back of the drumsticks, anything that generates a sound. Being able to take a sound and turn that into a beat. I think the ultimate collaboration for me is no hands. Being able to mix, being able to blend a Roscoe Dash with the Wale, with the Waka Flocka. It was like the best combination. I see Roscoe Dash in the corner writing in his phone and the whole room is like, imagine a hundred people all in this room at one time. Gucci man had just got out of jail, so he booked the whole patchwork studio. And Gucci's in the A room, Walker, and 100 people in the B room. All my equipment, and I could barely, like, touch the keyboard and touch my equipment. But it's got that bounce. And Roscoe Dash goes in the booth. And as soon as he opens his mouth, the whole studio just starts dancing. Roscoe comes in, girl. Drop it to the floor. Walker comes in the room like, whoa, 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 whoa. I knew we had something. I knew we had a special mix. My brother's keeper project um, comes from me basically becoming my brother's keeper. 2018, February 10th, uh, I lost my brother. Um, he was shot and killed in Atlanta. Losing anybody, especially your only brother, is difficult, right? Everybody's asking me questions. My phone is ringing, interviews galore, news. Everybody wants to talk. Sorry for your condolences, sorry for your condolences, sorry for your condolences. The first place I wanted to go, the first thing that I wanted to do was get in the studio, help myself vent at the same time, deliver a powerful message to the people, his friends, his kids, as well as something that would represent his legacy. So I created a song called Live On. And so many people are like, man, you should do a project, you should do a project, man, you gotta, the legacy lives on, the legacy lives on, legends live forever. And I was like, man, I'm gonna do an album. And I wanted to find a way to plant seeds for his legacy.
I've always had a passion for fashion. I wanted to start my own clothing store. I'm always getting free clothes, free clothes. People want me to wear this on this red carpet or wear this out to the club or make sure you can take some pictures and post them for me on Instagram. I'm bigger than just a walking clothing rack. I'm bigger than just a billboard. Why don't I sell your clothes? Started the clothing store. House of Fresh ATL, Supreme, Hudson, Champion. Just hearing the, the sound of a new sticker coming off clothes. It's like, man, I got something new. I got some new gear. I got something fresh. Ripping the sticker off, ripping that tag off. Really, really popping tags. Who doesn't want to pop tags? Smelling fabric. Filling fabric. From poly polyesters to cottons to satins to velvet. Understanding fabric and delivering to the world the best fabrics all across the globe. This was really cool and kind of weird at the same time, but it's all about trying new things. Never be afraid to try new things because they bring the best out of you. Drummer Boy, Fuse TV. Hey.